Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've made a video and um, I decided that there's a few videos going to be coming up um, over the next sort of month um, to celebrate my ninth year anniversary um, of being clean and being out of prison. But even though I haven't made a video for quite some time, I keep getting asked this question over and over again and I thought, well tonight I'm going to put this question to rest and I'm going to show you a really easy way of how we used to, this is the question I get, Jonesy, how did you like cigarettes in prison? Now, a few years ago I did make a video on um, one of the ways we did it with um, plugs in the wall and um, I since deleted that video and I haven't made another one. But um, I've still had the same question, Jonesy, how did you like your cigarettes? How did you like, well it was called tobacco by the way, not cigarettes. But um, is there any other ways you can show us of how to, you know, how, how you lit cigarettes? And I thought, I've had that question so many times, why not just make a video on it? Uh, <laughs> so you guys can see how easy you can do this at home. Um, and how easy it is to light cigarettes or paper or a candle or whatever you have even if you don't have a lighter or matches um, or a stove top or power or anything um, you only need two things to, to make fire um, I'm not going to actually make fire tonight I'm just going to make a, a spark and a flame so you can see how we do it I live in an apartment I'll show you the size of my apartment it's not big and I've got smoke alarms so I don't want what I'm going to do is at, no by the way that's not a fireplace that is a, a it's a wall heater that we purchased and it's like a fake fire and yes by the way we are getting a few christmas things up and ready but anyway we've got a small apartment and you know i've got smoke alarms everywhere so i thought what i would do is i'm just going to make a spark for you guys so you can see that it does work um and how we used to do it in prison because i'm coming up to nine years um i don't do these things on a regular basis anymore but i used to do them every day um, for a long time um, so let's get into this and let's see what you need to light fire or make it make a flame so in prison like anywhere else there is you've got to have and it's you're in a cell or a hut we used to call it a hut um, these things are mandatory so you have to have you can see them smoke alarms so smoke, smoke alarms are necessary in every cell you're in, alright? So I've just taken this out now for I didn't have to climb up there, but in the cell you get, sorry, trying to find the camera, got a different phone, so it's, I'm a little bit shocking with it, I know. Um, you get a 9 volt, I think it's 9 volt, 9 volt battery, just like that. So if you've got a 9 volt battery at home, um, in your drawer, in your smoke alarm, we'll just go to the shop and buy one, you know, then I don't know how much they cost nine bucks or something probably but i'm just talking about if you don't have if your power went out or if you're i was gonna say if you're camping but not many people would take this sort of stuff camping with them but this is how we lit it so these were in our um cell hut um i'd get up on the roof and take this down also in the kitchen um in the unit i was in we had dishcloths and stuff to um use to do the dishes so I'll just grab out what we've got here because it's exactly the same thing we had there. What is it? Stelos. Stelo pads. We had those in there as well. So I'll grab one out and I'll stretch it out a bit. I'm trying to do this with one hand so mind my filming. I'm just going to try to pull this out. And I'm going to rip a bit off it. Roll it up in my hand. So it looks like that. And the other part just looks, I just ripped it off that. Because that's what we used to do our dishes in prison. We still had to do our dishes with a wing. It was called the wing master. They had to do the dishes. But they're stilo pads. And screws don't think about stilo pads and batteries. So I'm going to put this down so I can show you how this works. Just excuse how I do this because I haven't got a stand for this phone yet or anything. So I'm just going to try to put you over here and show you how I did it. So I'll put you down here nice and low so you'll be able to see. This is to prove there's two items I'm using. And just that. So I just, I just ripped that 
off the stylo pad. I mean, I could even use a stylo pad. I mean, you can see how easy it would be. You know, it's not hard. You just rub them together and you can see what it's doing straight away. But, <laughs> that's the reason I'm not actually putting it on fire because the smoke alarms in here will go off. But in our, in our cells, I used to take the battery out and I used to then go to the kitchen guy and what I'd do is I'd ask him for a piece. Now, he'd give me a piece of this and I'd give him a cigarette out of it because he doesn't want, he doesn't want to get caught giving this away and you can't have this in the compound so I'd take a little bit like that and then what I can do is I can just bend it up and put it in my sock or something when I'm walking around the yard and if anyone needs a cigarette lighter um, they just take their battery out of their smoke alarm and I'd come along and just it's pretty hard to show you sorry guys but I'm just trying to show you a spark you just rub it in the negative and the positive it's just awkward in here to show you but in there I've got all the time in the world to do it but I suppose you can I don't know if you can see it or not I'm sorry Yeah, you can you can see what I'm doing there you go and then what we'd have is we'd have a little bit of um, I haven't got any here I'm, I'm running out oh you can get toilet paper but I'm not gonna run downstairs but you get toilet paper take a little bit of toilet paper off roll it up like like nice and fine and then someone will hold the toilet paper over top of this and it will light the toilet paper which is your wick and then you can light your cigarettes so you just touch them both together negative and positive and as you can see, it gives you a spark. And then if you really wanted to be real quick, you just grabbed one of these from the cook from the kitchen and just literally just put it on. Just rub it. You just rub it. You don't even you just rub it. Or even on even on this bit here. You know, you can I mean you can hopefully you can see it. How easy it is. All you need to do is create that spark. And as soon as you create that spark, you put your bit of paper under it and you're away. But it's, it was easier in there because we had a lot of time and I wasn't trying to make a quick video. But yeah, literally you just, that's it. That's all you're doing. So, mum is going to kill me now because I've wasted one of these. But I'm just trying to show you how it is. You just touch two tin, you know, people will come along and say get tin foil and roll tin foil up and you know cut a little edge here and cut you don't need to you just get a nine volt battery and what well, a stylo pad and if you're out in the bush and you haven't got a lighter or you, you're somewhere where you've got a bit of tin one of these and a bit of a lighter you just rub it together that's it and if you keep it on there like the thick part if you keep the thick part on there and keep rubbing it like that i'm taking it off quickly because it will just light the flame like that's how quickly it will light it'll just it'll just i'm taking it off quick so it doesn't light a flame but yeah, you can see what I mean. It's very easy, very quick. Here you go, it's already... Oh. So, that's what we did. Now, everybody's been asking me that question for so long. Sorry guys, I'm holding my new phone, I'm finding it very difficult because I don't know where my cameras are and stuff. But everyone's been asking me that question so much about... You know, is there an easy way to do it? How did you do it? Um, you know, because my last video I did, I had a four plug adapter plugged into the blinking wall and I had tin foil coming out of it and the spoon was um, shampoo to catch a spark and all sorts of things. And um, I thought, hang on, there's so many other ways that we can do it that is easier. I'll show you that way. So yeah, so I don't know if that's handy for you or if it's interesting for you, but I thought I would just show you that because I've had so many comments asking that. Uh, remember we're coming up to Christmas, but I'm coming up to my ninth year um, anniversary of being out and clean. So I thought I'd make some more of these sort of videos, but um, I don't really know what you guys want. The only reason I made that video is because everyone's asked for it. So if there's something you want to know about those back nine years ago, what I did or how I created something or how I hid contraband or whatever I did, put it in the comments, let me know, and uh, we'll make one. Otherwise, um, see you again in a few weeks at Christmas time and we'll make a Christmas video. Cheers guys.